An illegal immigrant with no green card, no driver's license, no birth certificate is now accused of a heinous crime spree outside Cleveland. Yes, illegal immigrant Juan Emanuel Razo arrested after a shootout with police. Now, he's suspected of murder, attempted murder, and attempted rape. All of that happening just on Monday, but that's not all. Earlier this month, sheriff's deputies stopping Razo due to suspicious activity, but U.S. Customs and Border Protection telling sheriff's deputies not to detain him. And earlier, Razo showing up in court. This is a bail hearing, and I need to know some facts about this case. I have somebody that we don't even know who he is, why he's in this country, why he's here illegally, and why he allegedly committed a murder. And the on-the-record legal panel joins us, former homicide detective and criminal defense attorneys Ted Williams and former prosecutor Katie Fang. Katie, I mean, the details are just horrible. Attempted murder of a mother in front of her children, a murder of a 60-year-old woman, and an attempted rape of a child or a young woman. The attempted rape of the 14-year-old Greta, that was his niece. And that's what drew police to him after she gave a description of the suspect. And then he goes ahead and he shoots at a woman five times in front of her two children, strikes her with a bullet, and then he murders a 60-year-old woman. The insanity of this is apparently the accountability train has left the station with nobody on it. He was stopped three weeks ago by local police. Border Patrol had the option to detain him, and they failed to do so, even when he admitted to being in the United States illegally. This system has broken down. and in need Needs to be fixed immediately because these mur this murder and these crimes could have been completely prevented. Ted, the uh, Border Patrol says, well, they couldn't detain him because he hadn't committed a crime, um, although he was here in the country illegally. Um, and now, look, we have the attempted rape, the murder, and the attempted murder. No, Greta, I was prepared to come in here tonight and dump on the Border Patrol as well as the Sheriff's Department for not uh, detaining this uh, illegal immigrant. But Greta, it, I got to tell you, those sheriff's department, those police departments, they can't uh, operate and arrest everyone. And, in the, and so what I'm simply saying is that Congress needs to do its job when it comes to the immigration laws well, in this said, country. Ted, you, you pick somebody up, the person's illegal, the first call at least the local should make, even if their hands are tied by the, by the fact that Congress and the president won't do anything to try to streamline this, and they, the, they have failed us. But at least you call ICE and say, come pick them up. And then ICE says, what? But, but Greta, think about it. You've got about, in that area of Lake uh, County in Ohio, you've got about 10,000 e uh, immigrants. Yeah, and Ted, That's is not, not an excuse. excuse. You have to do your job. I mean, I'm sorry they have so many, but at least make the phone call. It doesn't take a lot, Katie. Well, no, no, I agree with the phone call, but trying to incarcerate all those people is very uh, no, difficult I for law enforcement. I should have picked them up. I should have done, at least done something. Katie? I find it hard to believe that they don't have enough space in their jail system in this area of Ohio to be able to take one illegal immigrant into custody, at least pending some type of administrative hearing by the feds. This man admits to being in the United States for five years illegally, and then you even hear the judge, he sets a $10 million bond because this guy doesn't even have a driver's license or an ID, but then ask yourself this, he had a gun? And he had a car because he was traffic stopped three weeks ago. The fact that he can have both of those things not be in this country legally completely boggles the mind. There's really no reasonable explanation for this. You know, Ted, I'm just sick and tired of thinking, sitting here at night thinking like what the families are thinking. The families of the dead yes. woman, um, the family of the raped child, and the family of the, the woman who got uh, shot from her kids. I mean, you know, uh, you know, it's just, and ICE, everyone at ICE went home tonight in the Sheriff's Department. They all went home tonight. Well, it, it's mind-boggling, and when you think about, when you talk about law enforcement in this instance, the problem we have in this country with law enforcement on one hand is that law enforcement, Greta, does not work together. They don't communicate. Okay, and that, we and saw the same and, and, identical thing happen out in San Francisco, uh, and, Greta. And blame the president, blame the House of Representatives, and blame the Senate, Republicans and Democrats, and I'm taking the last word on that. Ted and Katie, thank you both.